Making the water pickle drop. Thing. G'day. So, plastic straws, pretty bad for the environment. And with Australia starting to phase them out, it's probably a good time to invest in a reusable one. However, hold that thought. I have another problem. I like tea, but tea is hot. Hot tea burns your mouth. You gotta wait for things to cool down. I don't have the patience for that. Reusable straw, instant tea cooling apparatus. <laughs> So this project was originally going to be a peltier strapped with straw, somehow taking the heat away, but I couldn't find my box of peltiers anywhere. What the hell is this? So then I decided to make a primitive radiator, purely because I found a really loud fan to go on the radiator, and loud equals funny. Alright, so, we've got this pump here that some chump threw away, but this is only rated at 35 degrees and we're going to need a lot hotter than that. So let's do a... Uh, oh, come on, just... Uh, oh. oh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. So I cut some aluminium tubing for the radiator, so the water's going to take the heat from the tea, and then the water's going to flow through the tube, and that's going to get rid of the heat from the system. I then cut some flat bar, and the tubing was going to go... The tubing was going to go through it, increase the surface area, get rid of a bit more heat, and then I realised how hard it is to actually drill equally spaced holes without a drill press. I then 3D printed the inlet and outlet tanks of the radiator, and then realised that Bunnings gave me slightly different sized tubing. I then tried to seal it all with way too much silicon and then put all the pieces of the radiator together, welding it with an old soldering iron and some spare filament. More welding, more welding, bit too much welding, let's just finish welding it. That's coming along good, I have no doubt in my mind that that's going to leak. Uh oh. What about this one then? <laughs> Oh my! I probably didn't wait long enough for the silicon to dry. So the actual straw is going to be some aluminium tubing run through this reservoir here. I put all the pieces together, I then welded all the pieces together, I then tested all the pieces. It's not leaking. Popped on some more messy silicon and actually gave things enough time to dry. I then fixed the radiator, the only way I knew how, a stupid amount of hot glue, which makes it leak slightly less now, and that's good enough. Now please enjoy this very generic build montage. It's about now that I realised I didn't really design this thing to be filled easily because there's a lot of electronics very close to water. So I gotta fill it, but I've also gotta drain the air out of the reservoir. If I do this, like that. Right, oh, oh. Now I need to submerge it all and seal it somehow. Oh sh! Ready? Oh! Oh, that's sick. It's leaking hard. <laughs> so. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. The radiator is leaking, and then the fan is blowing the water straight onto the battery and all the wiring. All right. Let's make a pot of tea. I've got the lav my tea bag. Oh. I'm pretty much certain we don't even need a radiator in this. It's just, it's funny. I, I think there's about a litre and a half of water and we're gonna be cooling down a cup. So I'm pretty sure the amount of water in it can just absorb the heat from the tea and it, it's not even gonna raise the temperature of the water enough that the radiator is gonna make a difference. So. I'm fucking scared because it's boiling. I was planning to make a mouthpiece because it is a bit awkward to kind of drink with a tube in your face, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make the hole at the tip of the mouthpiece so small that you're going to have to drink it really slowly, and this is just going to give it enough time to disperse the heat in the reservoir. I'm, I'm still giddy every time that turns on, it's just... It's a difference. It's actually drinkable. Like this is, this was not drinkable. This was burn your tongue. But this is slightly below burn your tongue. I've been, <laughs> I've been so focused on temperature. I didn't even realize it tastes like aluminium. <laughs> Tastes like I've got a coin under my tongue and I'm drinking tea at the same time. What are we doing, Fry? Recording? No, no, what are we doing? We are making a water cooled straw. No, we've already made it. We're testing the water. We're testing a water cooled straw. Yeah. Alright, what I think we're gonna do is bucket of hot water that we're gonna keep full at about the same temperature that... Oh, that's f***ing hot. The same temperature that... Ow! The same temperature that this tea is at once it's been steeping for about four minutes. And then we're gonna make sure that this bucket is the same temperature. And then we're just gonna keep feeding it through the straw. And then we've got... Oh, where are they? Where's the other thermometer? We've got a whole bunch of thermometers. So we're gonna have one measuring the output temp. I don't know, one monitoring the input. And then we're gonna somehow stick a thermometer in for the loop so we can measure the, uh, the, 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 So we can just see the temperature of the coolant inside the system. And I don't know, let's see what happens. Don't wanna break the thermometer. It's only a $5 thermometer, but I don't wanna really wanna. Oh, it's in. All right, so we have about 10 liters of water at, what is it at? Um, still rising, 69.2, 70. I'm gonna assume that's 75, and it's gonna siphon through into the sink. I'm just gonna see the temperature difference. If there is a temperature difference, we're also measuring the temperature there, and let's just kind of see what happens, and this is probably gonna fall apart. We'll keep the fan off for a little bit, see how much it's rising, and then we'll turn the fan on and see just how that affects the curves and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna hold that there. Mm. Is it sucking? Oh! 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 It's going! Alright. Hey, that's drinkable! Fan's going on. Ooh. Man, do you reckon we can visualize flow rate somehow? It's finally fallen. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's leaking now. Oh, it's leaking everywhere. All right, all right, all right. We're turning the fan back on. It's definitely doing its job. 
Man, so this is actually like a pretty good graph. So there's no fan on at the start, and then you can see we're clearly where we turn it on and it plateaus, and then turn it back off and it and then the fan comes back on. It's like but like it's plateauing at about 45 degrees with the fan on, which is actually good because nothing's really melting and the plastic isn't really getting soft. But about 55 to 60 where it would have plateaued at the without the fan, it melts. So the radiator actually like did something which was somewhat surprising and then we measured a tip to tip difference of the straw and it was about 15 degrees which was that was, that was pretty good that's actually like something i'd use if it wasn't completely impractical but i don't really make things that work and this worked so uh yeah <laughs>